I'm at Farasi Lane Primary School where I'm registered to vote and uh, my stream is stream 2 and unfortunately the Kim's kit is not functioning. Um, they're waiting for a new kit to come in uh, or the ICT person to come in and see what the problem is. There is supposed to be a spare kit in every polling centre so that if one polling station has a problem with the Kim's kit, it's available. So there is no, um, there is no uh, spare here and also, um, so I'm not able to vote right now, I'll have to come back later. But this is, it's already, it's already an hour past uh, 6, 6 a.m. And most of the people on the lines are obviously not going to be able to vote in stream two. Okay, and then there's another problem that's happening as well, which uh, uh, my daughter experienced. When she went to her stream, polling center three, uh, the polling station three, her name was there, but it was saying go to polling station four. When she went to four, it was saying go to polling station three. So the backwards and forth went on like two, three times, and then eventually the Kim's kid accepted her to vote. So, of course, there's still some technical hitches, and this is why I think we needed a manual register so that people can be able to exercise their democratic right when the kids fail. So right now, uh, there's going to be a lot of queuing here, but I'm asking Kenyans to be absolutely patient because this is the only day that they get to exercise the democratic right to vote. And I'm also saying to IBC, please act expeditiously. I mean, can you move faster? So when, when, when you know and you get a complaint that a Kim's kit has failed, please come forward and make sure that it's, people can vote within the hour maximum. You know, so I, I'm, you know, I'm hoping that uh, I'm going to stick around here to wait and see how long it takes for Stream 2 to actually allow um, me to vote and of course all the Kenyans that have gathered here today. So one Kenya, one people, let's exercise uh, patience as uh, IEBC sorts itself out and also let's all vote um, and maintain the peace. We want this country to maintain the peace. We're voting, we're exercising our rights, but the most important thing is after the uh, votes have been casted, I'm also worried about the fact that most of the classrooms, you know, when I came in, most of the classrooms were very dark. Most of the corridors were very dark. So you couldn't even see your names in that small print. So I'm just wondering, with the huge budget that IABC has, couldn't they have ensured with Kenya Power and Lighting that all the classrooms are lit? I'm wondering what's going to happen tonight uh, when the lights that they're using right now in the daytime, uh, because the classrooms are a bit dark because of the weather as well, uh, uh, when the power backups that they have are going to actually stop functioning. So that will be a problem in itself. So I really pray that uh, you know we'll be able to get lights in all the classrooms because that will be really difficult uh, uh, exercise to conduct in the dark. But all in all, um, Kenya, let's just get out there and vote and exercise our democratic right. And remember, maintain the peace. Thank you so much. Amen. Yes, I'm. Nathan Gong, a